When I was a child, I often played near the fireplace. We rarely ever used it for its purpose, so it was always empty, with the exception of a few pieces of wood where the fire would be. It, for some reason, made me feel calm and quiet. I take my Legos and beads and paper and other things to the fireplace to play with. It was my favorite place in the whole house. I was content to spend my days there with my toys and a few cookies every now and then. One night, I was by there once again. I had just finished making my Lego dream house and suddenly the fire turned on. Thinking my father had somehow snuck past me, I turned around with a big smile on my face. Nope. He's not there. I turned back to the fireplace, wondering how it could have turned on by itself, but admiring the warmth it provided. It had gotten cold and I was too busy building the Lego house to grab my socks. I thought it must have been an angel who ignited the flame, and was simply making sure I did not catch ill. I repositioned myself and sat so my feet were closer to the fireplace. At my age, I had never been near a fire by myself, but I felt this was a safe distance that also kept me warm. I yawned, thinking of how relaxing this was. I closed my eyes. I could almost fall asleep. At that instant, someone grabbed my ankle. I figured it was my mother, who was about to scold me for being so close to the fire, but... Uh, it hurt. No. It burned. Perhaps I was too close to the fire. I withdrew my foot, but it was instantly pulled back towards the fireplace. I opened my eyes and saw that two hen-like figures had formed in the fire and now had a grip on my ankle. Frightened to heights I didn't know existed, I called out for my parents. I kicked and pulled and tried my best to get away from the fire, but the hands were so strong. The fireplace was trying to eat me, I thought. I called out for my parents again, but they still didn't come. I kicked and pulled again and I finally broke free. I ran from the fireplace and up to my room, crying. When I opened the door, my room was in flames. I was almost consumed by the flames myself when I heard a faint voice calling my name. I woke up, in my bed. My parents were in the room, staring at me. My mother was looking concerned and felt my forehead. Oh, you scared me, sweetheart. You called us in your sleep and we came running, but it was just a bad dream. I think you may have a fever. My father left to buy a liter of ginger ale and my mother went downstairs to make soup. She told me to stay in bed but I wanted to help her prepare the soup. I didn't want to be alone. As I jumped out of my bed, I felt an instant pain. I looked down at my ankle, and there were burn marks.